guys, we're about to be getting ready to go green flag here in the nationwide uh, series. And uh, we're going to take you to the green flag. And we have on the front row here today, on the pole, Cody Lama is trying to get his season up started here today after a couple bad runs. But I believe he could do it here today. And right next to him in that nine machine, watch out for him. Talking about Sean Henley, he could get up here and make some noise as well and try to win this race. So let's take you to what's going to happen here today on the high banks of Homestead. to get ready to take that green you're gonna see some awesome racing here today as cody llamas gets us off going green flag and he will have the lead right now but watch out for sean henley so he's gonna put himself down to the bottom but i believe i believe these guys you know they're gonna keep it going straight they're not you know they're not gonna do too much right now but you never know oh they're trying to go through oh oh cole Oh, Sean, and, uh, and I just said they're not going to try to do much, and, yeah, they just did a lot right there. I'm still wrecking. And got Chris Washer on the, on the pit road. Got a lot of damaged cars over here. Somebody smoking. I thought the caution is out. Let's take a look at what happened. Hoping these guys aren't gonna try leaning on each other like they were doing right here. And I believe they did a lot of that. And Sean had nowhere to go. Uh, the 40 is gonna get involved. The 14 is gonna get turned. Oh man, he almost got lifted. And oh, then the 10 hits the nine. And and all these guys up here miss it. Well, some of you guys back here don't. Oh, Chris Washer. Holy crap. What's going on back there with him? He was flying. 
looked like he got lifted up by who is that? That was like the the ten car lifting him up, and then he's gonna fly over the O nine. That's the second time he's flipped in two weeks. Oh my goodness! We'll back it up again, take a different look at it. guys before I, I really didn't think they were gonna wreck right there but Jessica Shelton got really uh, anxious right there and turned cold and right as they were coming to the second lap and uh, oh man Preston got turned hard up in the wall by Charlie Rodriguez and they see Chris Washington tumbling and we'll take you back to green flag so you guys are gonna be Gonna red them in again and get ready to go green flag racing once again. And uh, Cody gets a great jump right there on Richard Johnson, but Richard Johnson's gonna put the pedal to the metal to try to get under him right here. Oh, oh, contact again. Uh, oh, and somebody made contact, and I think we have a caution again. No, we're still green actually, but in the lead goes Richard Johnson. And I believe the caution, no, we're still green. But here, here he comes to the inside, going to the inside goes Jack Rogers. Jack Rogers been looking for a good run for so long. And I, he, I don't even know if he really thinks he's ever going to get a good run. And he's getting it right now. They're trying to get the lap uh, 10 right here. But Richard Johnson, last week's winner, is looking very strong here. And this is one of his strong suits. Yeah, at this racetrack. Oh, don't, don't forget about her. She is in the third position. She has had the most consistent season out of anybody so far, with a couple of bad finishes. But she has not DNF in the light. And we got a crash. Oh, we're coming to the line. It's side by side, and the 18 is gonna lead as the caution is. No, the 81 is gonna lead. But that was close. The caution is out. Let's take a look at what it's for. Second caution is out. Well, it looked like Jason Trost and Riley Houston were disagreeing, disagreeing on some space right there, and he's gonna blow that engine up in that STP Dodge, and he's gonna slide it back up the racetrack right here, and uh. Not what he was looking for at all. And he's just gonna stop it on the racetrack right there, and luckily nobody else hit him. But his day is done because he blew that engine right when it smacked that right in the side of the wall. So we'll take it back to green flag, baby. Well, guys, if this keeps going the pace that it is going, And like I said, yeah, we had that big wreck on lap one, but uh, there's Charlie Rodriguez right there. He did a great job of keeping his car out. He needs to try to stay up in the top ten in the points. And uh, wrecking out would not help him any, and Jack Rogers will get this going back green. But he has a he has a lap car on the inside, and he has, he has cars at the tail end of the lead lap in front of him. And oh, man, he's going to have to do some maneuvering. Oh, oh, somebody off the racetrack. That is the 39 of Trent Dunham. Oh, he, he tried to come back up on the track and fall wide. And those guys were pitting the 18. And who has the lead? Richard Johnson got the lead again. But here comes Deion Scott. They're four wide. They're, they're making contact all over the place. Oh, but Richard Johnson still has the lead. And he is working against Johnny Gardner. Johnny Gardner is trying to catch him right down here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here comes Trent Dunham getting pushed in that discount tire dodge to the inside. Oh. Oh, Ryan Acosta is going to come back up on the track. Hard in the wall and caution is out again. And Johnny Gardner. He's going to get the lead from Richard Johnson coming out of turn four. He's going to lead it back to the yellow. And where the hell did Joshua Collard come from? He has now made a, his appearance up in the top ten. 
Oh, don't wreck again. And I'll be right back. Well, I've seen this was gonna happen because that's Trent Dunham. Trent Dunham had a full head of steam coming off, and he was trying not to get into the 25. And he got, oh my god. They both took a hit right there. And look at Andres Allen going through the grass to dodge that. That might be a winning move for him right there. The pins. Oh, and his teammate hit him. Of all people. Oh, no, no, no. That's, uh, that's the other McDonald's car, Gene Sanford. Oh, and, oh, and it's not done. They were still. And Zach Rogers, look at him. He was in the back after pitting on the first lap after caution. And he missed that. You, um, Ian Dutta got involved. I don't know, and that's going to take about five more cars out of this race. Oh my god. I, I knew he came back up on the track, but I didn't know nobody could hit him. I don't know, where the, where the hell is he at? There he is. I had no idea anybody else hit him, though. I think this is the best angle right here, though, to look at the hit. But, um, you can see he gets turned right there hard into that opening. Him and Trent Dunham. And then watch him come back up on the racetrack. Oh, there's his teammate right there in the white car. But, he's gonna get hit by Gene Sanford right there. And it's not over Gene. It's gonna go hit the wall. Then she's gonna get hit by Eugene, uh, Ian Dutta, who's in the top five in the points. Oh, right there in the 14. And Jack Rogers did a hell of a job missing that. Wow. But we got about, uh, we got about one, two, th three, four, five cars that's probably going to be out. Let's run on board uh, the 25 of Brian Acosta. This is going to be f And that's a break for Ian Dutta. You seen he already had damage from the first incident and then it just took him out right there. Hmm. And it's not over. <clears throat> Jeez. Whew. Let's take it back to green. Well, we are back. You know, we're still not to the end of this race yet, but it's going to take a few more drivers out of this race. That's the that's the second big incident of the day. Mm. This big wreck we had on the first lap that only took out three cars, which I was surprised. But um, we got Richard Johnson coming down pit road, and there you can see uh, the 14 of Jacob Stump. His season has went down the drain since winning two races this season. I mean, yeah, I think it was two races. I think he, he won Indy. He won Indy in another race. Um, but anyway, they see uh, Richard Johnson and his, his teammate right there from DEI. Talking about Michael Norman. And the only other DEI car is the 8 car. And she she is running in the 23rd position with no hood on her car. So... And there's, uh, who's that down there? Trent Dunham, he's gonna, probably going to be out of the race. So, new leader is Johnny Gardner, followed by him is the Truck Series winner here, Chris Jones. Third is the Dion Scott Machine. Fourth is Joshua Colley, don't know where he came from. And fifth, I'm really thinking this guy is trying to get his second career Nationwide Series win. The last time he won in the Nationwide Series was back in the last race in Season 4. Talking about real hit rate of view. And he is doing an ultimate job here tonight to keep his car clean and keep himself up near the front. Now, I don't know where Zach Rogers and the guys that were dominating early in the race. I think they're mid-pack right now. So we'll check them out later and see if they can make their way up through the field if pitch strategy comes into play again. I'm telling you, this is about to get interesting right here. She only got 33 cars on the right now. This has been, you know... 
Hasn't been like the truck race where most of the trucks were out by this time, but but this race is really getting good and uh you can see it right there because we got some we got some cars that are pretty fast that are gonna be on that inside line. And look at Jessica Shelton. She is racing her way up here. There's the who's the leader again? The leader is Oh oh Jessica! Oh Jessica! Oh Zach Rogers! And Jessica was the lap down. Oh, and Richard Johnson, the most dominant car he's done. Oh, who is that? Zach Rogers. He was a lap down. Uh, Richard Johnson came down, and that's what happens when you come down pit road when you are having a good lead going. And I think the 35 got a piece of it because he is down there going to pit road. And I believe that was everybody that got a piece of it. How about Dylan Pote running up here in the top 10? Just notice him, the 12, I believe, got a piece of it. And I was looking like that was going to be bad on that restart. Well, because actually, I knew it was going to be bad on that restart because the Jazz had those, all those lap down cars in front of them. And they were making it three wide and all that stuff. And there you go. This deal right here, this is uh, Zach Rogers is, you know, he's worried about everybody wrecking him, but he, he goes down and almost wrecks Jessica Shelton and then takes Justin to Lampus with him. Justin to Lampus got stuck up in the wall, and then here comes Richard Johnson. Oh, God. Oh, Michael Norman hit him. Oh, Cole Daly, how did you get through there, man? They were still wrecking up here. I think that was a uh, real hit wrecking. We'll go up there in a minute. But back here, man, that was some hits. Can't take out about nine drivers right there. Michael was a good candidate to probably win this race. Along with a few other guys. But they were in that second pack that was trying to catch up to these guys. And then... You see, we'll go back up to the row hit part in a minute, but it looked like the 10 got, t oh, the 60 got turned into the 18 by, uh, by the 42, and then the 81 just crashed into the, uh, 18, last week's winner. He had a dominant piece, and it's done right now. Oh my god, that was a big hit. We'll go up to the row hit part right now, and then we'll take it back to the hip stop. Wow. I don't even know what to say about that, but it looked like, yeah, he he pretty much wrecked himself on that deal. He tried to wreck the 64 and wrecked himself coming back up on the racetrack. He should have waited to come back up on the racetrack, but... Oh, and then the 12 got involved. Kevin White, two-time... Uh, well, two-time... Well, no, he's not a two-time winner, I don't think. No, no, he's not. Mm. But anyway, you see that part right there in 35. And both those teammates haven't done good here today at all, so I'm going to take it back to green. Well, let's hope these guys play nice because we only had 27 cars left on the racetrack after that last caution. And, um,. Yeah, I mean, these guys were doing good at the beginning of the race, and, uh, you know, we had a green flag run, and then that, when the 43 wrecked, that kind of put it back into motion that, you know, we got to go hard again, and these guys have been going hard from the jump, but here comes, here comes that 34, I tell you right now, don't count him out at all, Jessica has a fast car, but she is a lot down, and she can't do nothing right now. But here comes Joshua Collard. He's going to try to get to the inside. He is going for it. Here he is. Here comes Johnny Gardner to the inside. But here comes Jake Joshua Joshua Collard to the inside. Here comes Dylan Pote. But here comes Joshua Collard. Joshua Collard to the inside. 
here he comes. Joshua Collard will take the lead. Here he goes down there. Joshua Collard has not won in the Nationwide Series since season four. And he is trying. Oh, and these guys are bitten. But here comes Dylan Pote. Don't count Dylan Pote out. Here he comes. But Joshua College still holding on to the lead. Here comes Dylan Pote making it three wide. He is on a mission to try to win his second race of the season. Oh, what's going on there, Pitton, too? Oh, no. They're Pitton, too. And I don't know if Jessica is going to be on the lead lap or not. If these guys in front of her are going to have to pit, but I doubt it. But she is up to the... I don't know what uh I don't know what place she is up to. Oh, but the the thirty is pitting too. Here comes Kyle Thomas. Kyle Thomas. He won on pitch strategy back at race eight at Michigan. He's gonna try to win again. And he'll take the white flag. Will Kyle Thomas hang on? Eric Burton's in the second position. Will Kyle Thomas have to pit? It is not looking like it. And Kyle Thomas is going to come out of nowhere on pitch strategy. And Kyle Thomas is going to win here at Homestead. Thomas will win here at Homestead here today. Andres Allen will finally get off the wreck and, uh, and he will finally finish finish a race without wrecking in the 17th position. And Dylan Pote had to come down pit road and will finish 13th. He had a strong car. A lot of these guys did. Eric Burton came close. I know he was hoping that the that the 20 had the pit, but. That wasn't going to happen. And only five cars finished on the... And Cole Dahlia and Sean Henley. How about... And Preston Plour finished third. The, all three of them wrecked in that first wreck. And they all came back to have top five finishes. What? Wow. I didn't see it all today. These three... These two right here. Top five finishes. Wow. Uh, okay. Let's take you to the finishing results. But anyway, we're gonna take a look at the finishing results. And there's, there's these four guys. I'm very shocked at them playing this pitch strategy that they did. I know Kyle Thomas was up near the front, near the end. I, I thought he was gonna have to pit too because he was up there with those guys, but he surprisingly didn't. That would have been an upset. It was an upset anyway because those guys up in front of him had way better cars. And Jessica Shelton somehow finishes seventh. What? And she was thirty thirty she was twenty something with a lap down and I didn't even think she had a chance to finish up in the top ten. But I guess being a lap down didn't have to pit. It's a tough break that she was a lap down though, because she could have had a chance to win again. Um Deion Scott, Dylan Young, Dylan Poteet. Uh Dylan, the, both the Dylans just missed out on the top 10. Um, who else? Eugene the Max salvages the top 20 after being involved in that wreck. Um, Cody started on the pole, but um, after he got a lap down, he really couldn't do nothing. Andrea Erickson, decent finish. Uh, yeah, and that's about it. And big hits here today for good cars. John McNamara. Rohit Vaderview, Justin Tellampus, Richard Johnson coming off the win. Michael Norman, Zach Rogers, Ian Dutta again having problems. Jacob Stump, Trent Dunham having problems again. Ryan Acosta, Gene Sanford, Jason Shaw, Zach Landis, Chris Washer again with problems. And Rob Williams will finish dead last for another time this season. So, we will see you later.